So we're away in the split start, 22 runners. You've got Stephen Langdon of Melbourne University, Samuel Clifford of Tasmania visiting, prodigious junior in his time, Peter Green of Box Hill, the local, Nick Earl, another Taswegian here returning, ran in the Melbourne Uni colours for a long time, Ben Kelly of Glen Huntley, Liam Budin of Queensland, he's one of the ones to watch tonight, Logan Janetsky of Glen Huntley, Logan right there, you'll see him about four back. He broke the famous De Costello 3,000 metre record at the APS just last month. Tom Bowers of Old Scotch. His teammate Benjamin Bowers. Craig Appleby of Knox. Craig Appleby, a bit of a veteran in the field here. Looked terrific at the milers also last week. Ran a very fast 3K, one of the lower grades. Cody Shanahan, Western Athletics, one to watch. Samuel Foster, Melbourne University. Matthew Buckle, Bendigo Uni. Archie Noakes from Essendon, the one I talked about. He'll follow this race tonight with the, Sat with the De Costello 3,000 metres in a few weeks at Lakeside. Alexander Ritchie of Box Hill. Dale Carroll Collingwood. Harry Norman of Yarra Rangers. Did a lot of good work in the 3K the other night early, setting up the fast pace. Box Hill Junior, Douglas Buckeridge, another one bypassed in the under 20 race this evening. Alistair Christie of Doncaster. Lachlan Hurd of Casey Gadinia. If he's anywhere near at the finish, he'll finish fast. Callum Goldsmith of Mornington and Nicholas Baggett of Box Hill. As the field spreads out nice and early and it is your Queenslander, Liam Booden, gone straight to the front. Lockie Hurd on his field, on his heels. Archie Noakes, the man I've talked about a lot already in third. As the field strings out over 30 metres, only 600 metres in. So the pace looks like it is on. Liam Booden wants to make every worthwhile part of his trip down from Queensland. So Lockie Hurd was in that sprint finish over 3k behind Noakes the other night. With 200 to go he looked to be the threat but Noakes ran away with it. A couple of 70 second laps out in front. So not too quick but solid tempo. Expect a big kick down. We saw what Noakes was, could do over that last 1K of a 3K. What can he do over five tonight? So as we suggested, a pretty conservative front first kilometre. Again, Janetsky moves three or four wide down the straight. Noakes is there. Dale, Dale Carroll is the fourth athlete on the track. Alistair Christie of Doncaster out wide. And at the back, you've got Nick Earl of Tasmania. So Queensland at the front, Tasmania at the back, a whole pack of Victorians looking for a Victorian title. Lockie Hurd sits in behind Budin. Sit and kick, I imagine, is going to be the way they're going to go. The field's strung out, but it's a pace that most of them can handle at the front end. So a little bit of a break there. You can see Peter Green about six from the back, possibly just slightly showing a separation in the group. But majority of the field on the running rail. Noakes is one of the ones that's out, in, out one wide. Behind him, Shanahan just stalking him. Janetsky also out wide, Buckeridge. Appleby mid-pack there in the Knox colours. As the pack still doesn't quite loosen up as I thought it might do, I thought we might see a splinter. We haven't yet, with a few runners running too wide, you can tell the pace still hasn't picked up to what we thought it might. They run past the on marquee on the back straight at the 1500 metres. If you haven't, try yourself a pair of the on shoes tonight. Check out their new apparel. It is all the hit around the running trails and tracks of Melbourne. But Liam Booden, it is out in front. Lockie Hurd, Casey Cadinia. Gavin Barron was very happy with the work he's done over the winter, very happy with his 3K the other night. 
Archie Noakes, we saw him celebrate as we talked about. Carol on his inside. Christie's still there. Samuel Clifford's been just sitting next to Janetsky now for a while with Buckeridge. Harry Norman out wide. Tom Bowers, the tall figure from Scotch. Appleby in there. And Earl's still the back of that group, but only 20 metres off our lead. So Heard hasn't left for that spot. A metre and a half behind Boudin. Carroll on the rail the whole way. Likewise, Christie. Shanahan, Noakes, Janetsky outside them. Clifford tucked in. 5.48 at 2K. So a good tempo, but one that they can all handle, as I said. Last year's 5K championships. Last year we saw all three medalists from last year's championships absent tonight. Tom Thorpe, the man we interviewed last week about the World Cross Country, was the winner. He went 13.58 in quite a quick affair. Liam Cashin was second last year and Ed Marks of Glen Huntley was third. So in fact, our top five from last year's Vic Champs not returning this evening. So Harry Norman was actually the highest finisher of this group from Yarra Rangers. Goldsmith and Bisha were also in that final last year. Archie Noakes last year as a very youngster was 14.49. I'd expect a lot more tonight than, than that time and also the 14th place he was. So now a bit of a gap at the back of this group, slowly just splintering open. Janetsky still stays, he's run out in lane two for a lot of the way. Clifford makes the first time I've seen him make a move. That's the yellow colours now going out three wide. Now he goes to Budin, so you've got Tasmania and Queensland at the front. Janetsky matches every move. So Janetsky doesn't want to let anyone get away too far. Clifford was the one that looked like he'd go straight to the front, but he just went to the shoulder of Budin. It gets loud again as they pass that on marquee. The field closes up once again. Every time there's a small move, Budin seems to just slow it slightly at the front. He's going to be happy with a sit and kick affair, it seems. So it won't be the time tonight we thought it might be. It's going to be a sit and kick affair. It'll be something I imagine in the low 14 minutes, not sub, possibly sub 14 tonight, but it's going to be a genuine championship race. So Boudin looks terrific. Clifford has a little check over his shoulder. He'll see Lockie Hurd in the rail. Janetsky and Noakes, they're going to be going head to head for a long time, I imagine, these two very, very talented juniors. Inside of them on the rail, sitting Wonderly, another junior, Buckeridge. So it was through 3K, through 3K in about 8.45. Eight forty five gives us fourteen thirty five tempo. With a big kick down though, as I said, something in that low fourteen minutes not beyond possibility, maybe a fourteen fifteen. So we finally have dropped four at the back for the first time. Four have just drifted off the group. And they'll come down now with one mile to go. So one mile to go. Janetsky decides to make a move. Shanahan goes four wide. Noakes, Clifford, Budin, Christie, Norman, Carroll. Hurd's now suddenly found himself from second back into about seventh. Buckeridge is in that group as well. 
Tom Bow is the, the red figure. Green hangs on there from Box Hill also. And Earl's made his way back onto that front group. Looks really good, in fact. So Logan Janetsky, he took... Janetsky, Hurd, Noakes, Clifford. A few little hand checks there, a few runners running on the heels of those in front. Boone's quick, very quickly found himself in about seventh in this pack. Appleby, I called him Evergreen the other night, the most experienced of them in the field. The Knox runner. Christie just in front of him. Carol still thereabouts. Buckeridge and Bag Baggett got a bit of work to do with Green there to stay on this front group. Earl's found himself by him. Earl's found himself solo now. Ben Kelly moves past me. Samuel Foster of Melbourne University next. But it's a big pack. Anyone's race tonight. Lockie Hurd goes to the front. He feels comfortable there. He looks comfortable there. It's 11.32. So about a 2.47 kilometre. So they've picked up the tempo here. Lockie Hurd's the one in front. Janetsky's the one in second. He took down a De Costello record at the APS. Can he take a Victorian under 20 title to go with his national cross country title. Noakes looks magnificent now in second. It was an unusual double the other night. We saw Noakes win the A race and we saw his coach Charlotte Wilson win the women's A race. Not sure how many times that's been done before. The coach athlete double. That looks to be Carol though, the one now moved up into second. Quite achiever in that group, Dale Carroll. Has just gently moved into second and looks super comfortable. 600 to go, Carroll is on herd. Carroll looks to be the real threat here. Appleby's moving wonderfully through the group. He surprised us the other night in the lower grade of the 3K. Tonight he's in the main race and tonight he could be on the dais in this Victorian title. So at the front now, you're gonna get the bell. You're going to have Lockie Hurd, Dale Carroll, five metres to Booten. Appleby gets into third in the Victorian title. Christie, Noakes with a bit of work to do tonight. Janetsky, Sam Clifford takes the next pack through. Shanahan goes past me next with Buckeridge. So 300 metres remain. Appleby's now found himself into third. Carroll goes to the front. So Dale Carroll goes 250 from home. Booden finds a new gear, the Queenslander. Can a Queenslander take the Victorian title? Noakes is finding something back in fifth and sixth, but will it be enough? The race on in front. Hurd swings to the outside. Carroll may have gone too early. It's a race on down the line. Lockie Hurd. Boudin's coming back. Dale Carroll's throwing everything at them. Lockie Hurd, though, is going to take his first Victorian 5K title. Boudin from Queensland. Dale Carroll. Appleby on the dais. Noakes, Christie, Clifford, Norman, Green, Bowers, Janetsky through next. Goldsmith. Buckeridge will go sub 14.30. Shanahan. Next through, but no doubt about your win. What a win it was. Lockie Hurd, he got trampled the other night with 200 to go. Steve Langdon through. Nick Earl with another good run. Ben Kelly. Samuel Foster. And rounding out, Alexander Ritchie. A very highly entertaining men's. 5,000 metre Victorian Championship. 
Lockie Heard just keeps stepping up in distances. Tonight it's 5K, and he is your 5K Victorian champion.